All right, it's Windows Wednesday, and we need to talk about user versus admin, because 80% of the people that watch me run as admin. And is this a problem? That's a big question we need to address in this video. And I first want to just tackle the elephant in the room. For Mac and Windows or Mac and Linux users that watch me, a lot of times they're like, well, obviously, everyone should run as user. What's wrong with these Windows users? Are they just taking stupid pills? The answer is not quite so cut and dry here, guys. Uh, for the Mac and Linux users, yes, everyone runs as user, and then they use sudo or super user to elevate and run a program. On Windows, a standard user can do a lot of things. <laughs> now, obviously, in a business environment, it's all set up as everyone that logs in the system runs as a standard user. So this, everything I'm talking about in this video, does not apply to big corporations or enterprise uh, domains and those types of things that, that Windows is used for because everyone's already running as a standard user. I'm talking about the, the standalone desktop that's not joined to a domain or on Active Directory because that's where a lot of the, the benefits of standard users really come from. We're talking about the age-old, I'm going to say a myth, that standard users are protected and administrator users are making your Windows system more vulnerable because, well, frankly, I run as an admin user on my Windows system. And the reason being is because standard user really doesn't do much to stop any viruses. And you might be thinking, wait a second. Well, you have to authenticate to run programs and things like that as a standard user. And you're absolutely right. You do have to authenticate. But the number one problem with systems is you, the user. You're, you're the people that make things go wrong on a system. The system itself typically will be fine as long as a user never messes with it. And that's the big issue here is standard accounts. People will elevate and just say, we'll run as admin. They'll put the credentials in and they'll run it and it'll have all the privileges as admin would have. A good example of, you know, people like, well, I would never do that, Titus. And I'm like, I get it. I get you. You know, there's a lot of things, but... There's been times, and I'm not going to say I did this, but there was a certain game uh, with Sims with the little things that my wife wanted me to put. Yeah, I would never play that game. Uh -uh. And uh, EA might have had like 50 or 60 some odd expansion packs that cost a gajillion dollars, and I don't want to pay that. And even if I did, trying to make all that work coming from them is just kind of a nightmare. But... There's some more shady methods by some girl that happens to be fit. And let's just say that works a hell of a lot better than the official stuff. And I'm not going to say any more than that. I'm just saying I understand why people run less than reputable products on a Windows system to make certain things go. And to you, yes, you are much more vulnerable than you think because, well... Whether you're a standard user, you're going to elevate as admin to run that program to install it and probably infect your system. And if you're an admin user, well, you're just going to run it anyways and just click yes to the prompt. That's also a big problem. So uh, the difference is, like, if you do a full ransomware attack, and I think the PC Security Channel actually did a really good video over users versus admin. I'll try and link it down below where he ran ransomware on standard users and admin users. And the result, you know, the too long didn't watch that video was all the standard users basically still got almost everything encrypted and infected except for other users on that system. So if it's just one standard user and then one admin user, well, the admin user would be safe if the standard user ran the virus, but everything else on the system would pretty much be encrypted. So that's what's happening with a lot of this account stuff. It's not really saving systems and it's not really protecting you like you think it was because user account control and Defender and all the other antivirus programs out there are really built to solve that. And once they bypass those things, you're screwed. I mean, whether you're running as an admin or a standard user, it's going to encrypt pretty much everything. If you have network shares, if it's a standard user, guess what? It will encrypt everything on the network. It will encrypt all your files in there. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's it's those user accounts. So at the end of the day, when it comes to Windows standard versus uh, administrative users in a desktop residential setting, 
I, I'm, I don't think it really even matters these days. Why this is the case is mainly because of how cobbled together Windows was when the Millennium Edition team and the 2000 team made the bastard child XP, and we've been just kind of rolling with all the revisions since. And that security with user account control and the security center just does not account for a lot of the shortcomings uh, of how Windows is structured and how users in the administrative accounts don't really differ that much. As much as you think on a traditional NIX system, it means the world. On a Windows system, not so much. There's a lot of stuff that a standard user can do. And the only way to really restrict a standard user is in group policies, uh, business environments, typically, I will restrict a lot of access to all kinds of parts of the C drive. But even in those environments, if they run a really nasty ransomware, my biggest concern would be those network shares and then all that getting encrypted. So user and admins, should everyone switch and make local user accounts and then elevate using their admin account? The answer is no, not really. <laughs> it would be nice and if you set all the policies and if you knew, had the knowledge possibly but even then a lot of times you're just going to elevate that user to an admin and run whatever program it is and it's going to mess up windows anyways so that's kind of my thought process behind all this i know it's going to be not well received but at the same time uh, it's just how Windows is structured. It's a, a flawed operating system that was built incorrectly from a security standpoint. And running as admin or running as user, there's very, very little difference between the two uh, in just a residential setting. So with that, let me know your thoughts and how wrong I truly am down in the comments because most people would never say this. But it's really just the honest truth.